into this industry not knowing anything about interactive. And all I knew about the interactive department was a bunch of like kind of crazy people that worked really like later hours than most of the other creatives. Jeff Benjamin was always in the office. Um, but we had just done some Serbian chicken, and so Interactive was really growing in the agency, and that's when I got in. I got in at a really good time. Um, my ECDs, Andrew Keller and Rob Riley, will not look at a book that doesn't have Interactive in it. They don't care if you're, I mean, you can be applying to like write great commercial scripts or be a print person. They still want to see that you're at least thinking about it. It doesn't have to be great Interactive. You know, we have people that can work with you to make a great interactive. It's just got to be there. And I think most portfolio schools are getting better about, like, teaching more of that and getting involved in it, you know, and I'm, and I'm seeing websites and banners and widgets and, you know, just, again, like, if you have a great idea, just put it on there. Because at least it shows that you're thinking about other media. You know, there's so much going on with Facebook and iPhone and whatever the next thing is. You know, maybe you come up with your own great emerging idea or great emerging media. Just really be thinking beyond just print and commercials. Be thinking about like how else you can get your message across, because that's really, really important right now. And so many, especially interactive, like if someone sees a great interactive book, they want that person in because it's pretty, it's pretty high in demand for someone who can do. There's a lot of like, really, I mean, just look on the web, there's a lot of crappy interactive out there. But someone who can do great thinking and really get their idea across and sell on the internet is someone like that pretty much any agency will want to talk to. Um, and they're doing, you know, it gives you a leg up, you're doing, you can do good, good sites. Um, and it's like, it's funny, I just had a girl come in who, again, her book wasn't that great, but they're like, but she can program in this really cool, in this really cool software called Silverlight. I had no, I didn't even know what that was. I, but my creators, again, they're telling me like, get her in because she can do that, and I did. So, you know, having like unique capabilities in like for the industry is again, another thing that will get you in the door. So the next thing is to pay the bills. Since Crispin paid for me to come out here, I'm gonna show some of Crispin's work. <laughs> um, so, a lot of the, the newest stuff I have is all the VW spots, which you guys have probably seen a lot of. Um, I was telling Maria, the next big stuff will be the Microsoft stuff. Um, the names I've heard associated with this are pretty insane if we get these celebrities to do this. Um, but again, it's like all still in the works, so hopefully it'll happen. But let me show some of... And I tried to bring some stuff too that maybe you guys haven't seen. Let's do some of the... Coffee's in the house! Hey, good to be back! Good to see you! Thank you, it is a pleasure as usual. Oh, baby, what's Josie's thing? Well, I've been looking for freedom! Uh, you're, you're a sensation! I thought I was popular in Europe, but you're actually uh, bigger than me. You're huge over Come there! On. You guys sell more cars in Europe than anyone. Same as in China, Brazil. You are not so big in Brazil. Huh. Now. And the people just can't get enough of you. Oh, thank you. But there's more to you than superficial beauty. Well, look at you. You know, most people just see your sleek German exterior, but you guys put ABS and traction control on all your cars. It's what the people want. German engineering is so sexy. You watch. <laughs> 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 Welcome, folks. Oh, nice. <laughs> tournament appearances. If there was a basketball, Mount Rushmore, you'd be on it. Hey, but you know, I see where you guys won the title for best resale value in 2008. Well, at least one of us is winning a title this year. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I may not be retired. <laughs> Let's cut to commercial. <laughs> Hey, folks, Sean Fanning, it's great to have you on. It's great to be here. Sean, you're the guy. 
right? You're the guy <laughs> that invented the internet free music sharing, and people love that. Well, you're bringing clean diesel cars to all 50 states. Oh, huh? stop it, Sean. You brought free music to the world, and they love that. Well, you're bringing clean diesel cars. I think people will love that, too. Yes, but your thing is cooler. Well, your thing is legal, and trust me, legal is cooler. <laughs> after we shot all those spots, they put the car, the Max, actually in the lobby for a little while, so we were all like, you think like, the, if you're in the agency, the advertising agency that does the commercials, you wouldn't like freak out about stuff, and we were all taking pictures with it, like sitting in it and, and taking pictures, and any time, like, we, there's two King costumes, and they travel around for different shoots, and sometimes they come into the office, because we have to do stuff with them, and whenever someone throws on that costume, Without fail, there are people following him around with cameras, just get, getting their picture with the king. Like, I've done it. I have a picture with the king, because it's just a cool thing to have. <laughs> Welcome to my Space Shuttle Commander Lex Air Force. Oh, thanks. It's great to be here. You've orbited the Earth over 600 times, and the people love that. Yeah, I loved it, too. But you guys hold the Guinness World Record for the best gas mileage around the world in a single trip. Curious, how did you do that? Well, we do have more engineers than NASA. No way. Yes, way. No, I don't believe that. I can prove it. No way. You can pick a little space pants. No, <laughs> I can tell you the truth. <laughs> so that's the latest VW stuff. We're trying to do a new one with Heidi, but um, about like moms buying SUVs. But I found out actually before I came that it fell through. I was so bummed. She was really good. Like the stories coming off the set with her were like. She was like one of the nicest people I ever worked with. It was really cute. Um, so here, like again, Amazon, like Googling all the advertising books that you should read. I've read like most of these <laughs> when I was in school. They're all really good. Um, again, you know, you know what I would always do is I'd ask them for Christmas and my birthday. Because they are expensive, but it's worth looking at them. Um, this is, gets back to, I don't know if many of you have seen it, it's a little bit offensive. This <laughs> was. Um, so when someone parodies your stuff, that's when you know you hit it big. Um, people parried a lot of our stuff, and this went around the agency so fast, and everyone like loved it. So we were walking in Minnesota for one day to see what would happen. Back in the double Whopper with cheese, sir, we no longer sell the Whopper. You don't sell Whoppers no more. No, we don't. Man, quit playing with me, man. It's too cold out here. I'm hungry as hell. I'm high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> give me a dub. Matter of fact, you ain't gotta give me a dub. Give me a Whopper Junior. Man, I've been eating Whoppers for the last 35 years. Y'all don't sell that no more? No, we don't. Tell you what, dog. I signed over the deed to my truck right here, dog. You must be up for the Whopper. I know you got it. I know you can do it. Sir, we no longer sell the Whopper. The fuck you mean you ain't got no Whopper? <laughs> this ain't no Burger King without no goddamn Whopper. That's the best seller goddamn product y'all got. Y'all ain't got no motherfucking Whopper. <laughs> what what, what y'all gonna do, man, for the rest of the day? Y'all gonna be telling every motherfucker you ain't got no fucking Whopper all day. Why don't you put it with the sign, goddamn it? <laughs> don't tase me, bro. Please. <laughs> Please. Take that Whopper away from the hood. It's like fucking Bobby Brown stop smoking crack. That's like the color of the White House, y'all gonna fuck everything up. Fuck you, man, you ain't got no more Whoppers, man. Oh, fuck this shit. Now I got to go home and eat me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I ain't got time for this shit. I got kids hungry and shit, man. Oh, um, baby mama getting on my fucking nerves. Y'all ain't got no motherfucking Whoppers over there. There ain't no Whopper Burger King. This is Whopper Queen of Burger Bitch. What's going on with y'all, man? You eat the It's like they can't get a full-time job here. <laughs> but it's just, it's nice, you know, when people start, like, doing that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know how many, oh, I don't know how many sites we've thrown around the agency with people that ripped off some Serbian chicken and stuff like that. When your stuff is parodied, that's when you know you've made it. <laughs> um, this is a commercial, I don't know if it showed in the U.S., um, but it, it showed in Canada, and I kind of, you know, like what we did here, so I wanted to show it. It's called The Safety Dance. Safety system. When you get into a Volkswagen, it gets you. 